myself to hold my hand Sleeping in the shadows of where we've been Sleeping with your back facing me What corner do you prefer in this track? With a really fast corner before the last chicken. Yeah? Muy fast. Muy fast. And the chicken, what do you think about the... Chicken is really nice with the, with the public. Uh -huh. It's a nice Especially place. in turn yes. and corner. And you, Moje? For me, it's the fish corner is the best. Yes. Fish corner? Yes. Why? Why? I don't know. It's for, for, for saying something. And the second uh, song? No, the chicken. The chicken is more. The chicken is more. For me, it's the most best. It's the best. The chicken. Okay. What do you think? I don't think. Okay. Well, don't think. The first and the chicken. Before the chicken. That's okay. That's all right. Chicane in Spanish. Uh, in Spanish, uh, gypsy language. Your favorite. Your favorite. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on, come on, girls. Ladies, which one? Ladies. Number five, because it's the slowest. Number five? Mambo number five. And you? For me. See? The chicken, no? The chicken, yes. Chicken? Yeah. Chicken with a fish. It's for you. The chicken with fish. 
Chips. Chicken with the with the yeah. chips. Yeah. With the chips. Okay. Please, please. <laughs> okay. See you later. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. I'm empty. My full tank is empty. Yeah. <laughs> so we are now in my OMGP in Assen. I will let you. I will show you a little bit how the seaweed goes. Uh, it's a really fast seaweed. So turn one is not so fast. The first part is quite slow, but then you get corner five that is really really slow. First gear corner. Then you exit. You get a long straight. You go to six gear. You touch the limiter a little bit, and then it's just going the fast corners. That uh, it's the part that I really like. Uh, turn seven really fast. Turn eight is really fast. It's also a lot of banking, so it's a nice, nice, nice corner. Then you go to turn nine. Uh, you have to stop the bike quite a bit. And then you have to prepare turn ten really well because after turn ten and eleven, it's coming a long straight. So yeah, you have to focus a lot on turn eleven to make a good exit because then turn twelve is full gas. So the speed you take from 11, you take to till 15. So this part is really nice, really fast. Then you get the really fast corner. Before we arrive to the chicane, the famous chicane in Assen, that normally the, in the last laps, when you are fighting with each other, something happened. But let's hope this year nothing happened. Uh, and then you get the chicane with all the public. This year a little bit less, but still we will see some public. Uh, and then you get the finish line, and hopefully you make a good lap time. <laughs> we use um, we use calfy brakes. Uh, I mean the brakes are uh, quite important. It's not just about you have to pass the spike, but also it's about to to stop as uh, let's say in a short time as much as possible. So uh, let's say it's uh, very important to, to have a fast lap time to brake very late but stop the bike enough so the brakes are quite important and also I think which is a big factor is um, to have a consistent brake power over all the race distance. This is, uh, I mean here in Assen maybe this is not so important because the track is quite fast but we have other races for example after the summer break we will have uh, Red Bull Ring where the brakes are very very much on the limit because it's a heartbreaking track. Okay. Check it. Anything to add? <laughs> no, we are using golfer brakes, uh, like Tom says, um, especially in, in Austria with the hard braking points. It's really important to have good brakes um, and that they can list for, for the whole race. So uh, we are really happy with them. Yes, I'm using the, the front brake for sure most of the time, but also the rear brake. Um, I have the thumb brake and I have also the rear with the, with the foot. And I'm using them in, in both ways. So, uh, yeah, but most of the part I'm using the front brake. Tom? Yeah, same, uh, same for me actually. I mean, the most stopping power is over the front wheel because during the braking area, all the way goes to the front and uh, so more or less nearly 100% you stop the bike with the front brake and with the front wheel. You use the, the rear brake uh, mostly to stabilize the bike or even after you turn into the corner you start to use the rear brake for this accelerate also with the rear tire. This is the most common brake technique I would say with, uh, for all the riders more or less. Yes, I think the, the worst is Austria, where you have a lot of breaking points. Um, um, yeah, I think this one is the, the worst for breaking. I think so, yeah, I think so. Austria is really always demanding a lot uh, for the for the brakes, especially the front brake, as I said before. Also Japan, a track where it's really uh, hard for the brakes, because long straights, high speed, and then it's kind of like a, a small corners, slow corners, so you need to brake a lot during one lap, many hard braking areas, 
goes really a lot onto the top. Maybe feel it violent. <laughs> yes, maybe you feel it violent. <laughs> maybe uh, it's a fast shape with. Also, saxering, you don't use it then a lot. For sure, you, you need to use them in some corners, <laughs> but uh, especially the long left part, you don't really touch the front right. So, I think Philip Island, uh, saxering. I think so, yeah. Also, here, Aston is not hard on yes, the brakes. It's not it's really uh, hard on the brakes. Where you have, like, let's say, fast corners, a flowy track, it's not about to to disaccelerate too much. It's more about keep the speed in the bike and let the bike roll. So the brakes are, let's say, not that important on tracks like this than uh, on other tracks where it's uh, a more important setup part. Yes, I think the, you can train your whole body in the gym, but in the end the, the feeling on the bike is always different. Um, so I think it's always better to, before the season starts, to make some kilometers on a different bike, uh, because you cannot make the kilometers in the winter on the on the Calex bike. So normally I'm just training a lot with, with the bike, and for sure I'm training in the, in the gym to get all the body ready. But like I say, it's always difficult to find the perfect exercise to make your body ready for, for the braking or when you open the gas. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose that already it's, um, it's more important to have the feeling. But sure, you need some physical, good physical condition for the braking because um, I would say the, on, on hard braking tracks, it's really um, maybe the braking area is, is the hardest part or the hardest work for the shoulders and arms so you need really to, to hold your body weight back on the hard braking and as better the brake works <laughs> as more you have to work on the bike so sure you need to, to work in the gym a little bit for, for that forces. Give me the best brakes as possible, but I think we have already quite good brakes. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> exactly, yeah. To have the best brakes, to brake like minimum three meters later than everybody else, and then it's more easy to overtake. <laughs> Fortunately, it's here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, mates. Then here are the pack. Then thank you. We are prepared for you. Thank you. Go and Perfect. for you, Tom. Thank you. At the end, we prepare this. Agree with the technical department and with days. Uh, depends of the circuit, we are using uh, different specifications and then, like they say here, it's not so abrasive in yes. the brakes or, or heavy, you know? And then we get the, our solution for here. We hope that this is the best for the race and we hope that we can win with the brakes and with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hello again, I'm David. And Another part of my job is to fix the brake disc and you will have one rear one and you will have the front one. Then not only the disc and the pads are the, the whole system for braking, then on a bike we have when the rider pulls the brakes, this is the pump, then we have a, a lines, foot lines, that is the fluid inside, and then you have the calipers. All this is the, the, the whole complete system for brake. And then, normally, depending on the circuit, we are using a different, different size of disc and also a different thing. Depends on the, the rider's need or also with the technical we, we decide. Then normally here, in a, in a, touch, in a touch TT, it's a easy on a brake, then we are using 290s, the, the more standard size that we have, and the more thinness that we have for our weight. They are looking also, sometimes it's important, the weight, for the manageability of the bike and then we are we need to find the compromise with the brakes and uh, have the easy bike for turning then here it's easy then we are using that one we have uh, many different uh, many it's it's for the temperature and depends of the temperature of the disc you can be on a critical area or on a safety area and then it's for that with the uh, with the engineers we work to get the to be on a comfortable area, this you can never can be on a on a critical area. 
then because when you are in a critical area, then it's coming the problem. Then it's what we are looking for always, for that we have a different size and a different things. That's all, mates. Hope that this like.